Thumbnails are the first thing a viewer sees before deciding whether or not to click on your video. If your thumbnail fails to grab people's attention, that's one less viewer every time YouTube tries to promote your content. Now here's the problem with trying to make high quality thumbnails on your own. It can be very time consuming, especially if you're trying to learn applications such as Photoshop. And if you decide to go the professional designer route, it can cost you quite a pretty penny, especially over the long term to hire a quality artist. So instead of doing all of that, what if I told told you that there was a tool that existed to allow you to maximize your time while creating really high quality engaging thumbnails in a matter of seconds. Well, let me introduce you guys to Pixels AI. With this tool, you can write your own custom prompts to generate whatever thumbnail idea comes to your mind. You can also add and swap out faces. And just recently, they released Pixels 3.2, which will allow you to analyze any thumbnail that you create, Pixels creates, or that's anywhere on YouTube and apply fixes to them. Let me show you how it works. If you click the link in the description below, it'll take you to app.pixels.com where you can log in with your Google, Discord, or Apple account. We're gonna go ahead and use my Google account. And once you're in, you should see a screen looking like this where you can type in a prompt and begin generating thumbnails right away. But before I show you guys the power of pixels and the thumbnails that it can generate for you, let's jump ahead to the new analyze section where here we can either upload a thumbnail or link to a thumbnail like on our YouTube page or somebody else's YouTube page along with its title and we can go ahead and analyze this content. It'll take about 25 to 30 seconds for you to see the thumbnail up on the screen and then a few more seconds after that for the analysis to complete. Once it does, you're gonna see a score here on the left hand side of the thumbnail. The score that Pixels gave this thumbnail is a 10 out of 100. This was not a 10 out of 10. And looking at this thumbnail just through my own analysis, there's just way too much text, too many icons and elements just cluttering up the thumbnail. You can also see Pixels thoughts by just clicking into the score and you'll see that Pixels breaks out their scoring methodology into five different components. The first index is virality, which essentially means what is the likelihood that the click-through rate is gonna be high on this video and how likely is it to be able to go viral? The next area here, clarity, is how clear is the thumbnail? And obviously it is not too clear. There's a bunch of elements, logos, characters, very chaotic. So the clarity is not high for this thumbnail. Next is the idea. So how well are we conveying the messaging of what the thumbnail is trying to tell us? Is the value proposition of the video, which aligns with the title, is that clearly reflected in the thumbnail? Next, we have curiosity. This is how well your thumbnail piques a viewer's interest. Are you intriguing them great enough to make them want to click on your video? As for the emotional aspect, this is how you want your viewer to feel when they see your thumbnail. Are they gonna be excited? If you have your face in your thumbnail, what's your facial expression? What about your body language? Those things evoke a mood to the viewer. So luckily with using Pixels, they have this one-click fix feature feature here, which if you select that, give Pixels about 30 to 45 seconds, it will showcase a brand new thumbnail for you with the incorporated fixes in place. And here we go. What do you guys think about this fix? Unbelievable. So just for fun, let's click on this score again. It's still saying that it is quite low. So let's do another one click fix and see what we get. That's pretty good too. Man, I don't know which one's better. Um, maybe this one, just because there's less text involved, it's a little cleaner. So the fact that you have both of these as solid options that you can play around with is great. All right, let's go ahead and start a new chat here. We're gonna analyze another thumbnail. This one is a Dragon Ball Z Xenoverse Let's Play thumbnail. After running this, the score that I received on this thumbnail was a 22. As you can see, the elements are very blurry, hard to see what's going on. And if we click on the score, we can see the breakout. And after doing the one-click fix, this was the new thumbnail that it gave me. Oh my God, what an upgrade, absolutely insane. And when I tried to upgrade it again, this is the next thumbnail that it gave me. One hit KO, see that gives a little bit of wonder. And plus this thumbnail is crystal clear and visually appealing to the eye. All right, I have another thumbnail I wanna analyze here. The title is The Ghost of Yote Platinum Was Beautiful. We're gonna analyze. This is the original thumbnail here. And honestly, even to me, it is not that bad at all. It looks really good, it pops and you can see that it gave it a much better score. The tool is being honest with us. So if we jump into the score, 
we can see the breakout for why it scored the way that it is. So since the score is so good, we actually don't have the one click fix option. This one's good to go. Now I told you guys that this thing is great for generating completely brand new thumbnails just based off a prompt. So the prompt I'm gonna throw in here is Steve, Minecraft character wielding a highly detailed Minecraft diamond pickaxe. Now that sounds good and all, but I think we can make it even better. So one thing that Pixels has here is the enhance prompt feature. So if we click that, this will add more to our statement if it needs it. So now you can see game inspired style, vibrant colors, and I think that's gonna make it look so much better. Let's generate this thumbnail and see what we get. Just like when we were analyzing the thumbnail, this will also take around 30 seconds or maybe even 45 seconds, depending on how complex your thumbnail is. Here, we just got back with something and I think that that looks so good. Look at how big the elements are. You can clearly see that this is in the Minecraft universe. You can clearly see that that is Steve, that is recognizable to the masses. And then you have the diamond pickaxe to go along with that. And it looks absolutely incredible. The diamond end of the pickaxe is shimmering. Really well done thumbnail and Pixels agrees with itself as it gave itself an 83 score. Now, what if you wanna get some other variations of this thumbnail, especially if you're using YouTube's AB thumbnail testing feature, which if you have Pixels, this makes it even easier to leverage that tool as you can get multiple thumbnails you can test right out of Pixels. So let's go ahead and select the redo button and let's see what Pixels comes up with. Are you kidding me? This looks so freaking cool, guys. I know it only gave itself a score of 63, but it doesn't take away from the fact that that is still a very nice looking thumbnail. All right, let's move on from the gaming character models and get into some face personas. So you see this little option right here, personas. I've already created a persona of myself, but you guys can do the same if you select this create button. And essentially you just need some nice looking photos where you're not wearing sunglasses, your face is not obscured. These were the face pictures that I uploaded to Pixels in a private format, as you can see right here, so that it would be able to model out what I look like to apply my facial features to images or other people's faces for thumbnails. So the way that I'm actually gonna try this one out is by taking a thumbnail that already exists with somebody else's face on it, and we're gonna put my face over top of it. So what we're gonna do is select the recreate button, and within here, this is where we can put a link to a YouTube video or upload the thumbnail to that YouTube video. We're gonna go with this one from creator MMG, Persona, we're gonna select the option there and choose Midnight Man, as that's what I've uploaded here. Now we can describe what we'd like to have added or removed to the thumbnail. So we will say that we are coaching a Super Bowl team. Happy expression on my face. Confetti in the background. All right, let's generate and see what it comes up with. We're at 99. Oh, <laughs> that's pretty good. But not with that team. So if we want to modify what is on this side, we can go ahead to the edit option. And now we can keep the rectangle selection tool as that will allow us to easily select areas that we'd like to modify. And if we don't like this particular area, we can just select the undo option or select the trash can icon to clear everything. But let's go ahead and highlight the Raiders logo here. We're going to put the Steelers here. Go ahead and generate. That is not the Pittsburgh Steelers logo. It had the red idea with the stars, but that's not accurate. It's not the logo that we wanted. Let's redo. We got it right this time. There's one more edit I wanna make to this, and that's with this cardboard sign. This just screams, I don't know, like I'm not a winner. We're gonna replace it with me holding the Super Bowl trophy. Yes, 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 this is looking good. So just to compare the thumbnail that we started with from MMG to what we have now, it is completely transformative, but uses the fundamental styling characteristics of his original thumbnail. We just turned it into our own using pixels, and this can be applied to many other thumbnails that you might find on YouTube. I tried this with one of Symphony's Battlefield 7 thumbnails where I was able to switch out his face completely, put mine in, and then also completely redo the backdrop of the thumbnail. I also tried this out with Ryan's I Played 50 Years of Video Games thumbnail and was able to successfully completely remove his face, add mine in. The power that is within this tool is 
absolutely off the chain and it just doesn't stop there. One of the drawbacks with Pixels early on in its development was that it was very difficult to be able to keep a consistent look thumbnail to thumbnail, especially using an AI generator tool. That is why they implemented something called styles. With this, you can go ahead and select the create button and you can add a YouTube channel that is your own or maybe one that's your competitor or you just like the way that they put thumbnails together. You can also upload images as well, a minimum of three. Since I already added a couple styles here, we're gonna go ahead with mine, the MIDI style. Stream PS5 to YouTube. My style is selected. Let's select generate. And as you can see, it came up with a thumbnail that is similar to my styling that I would put on one of my own tutorials for my YouTube channel. Now there's one more very cool feature of Pixels that you guys can check out and that is the title feature. Here you can write about your video and if I select the enter button here, it's gonna generate some title options for us. And here are the three that I came up with. Of course, the more detail you're able to give Pixels, the better results you're gonna get here, but these are some nice options that you can go with. And I like that they give you three because with the AB thumbnail testing feature on YouTube, you have the ability to not just test the thumbnails, but you can test three title combinations as well. The beauty of leveraging Pixels is that since it's AI generated content, it's a completely new and original artistic asset that minimizes that risk of plagiarism. To put yourself in the safest position possible, implement some of the techniques that I showed you in this video, such as writing a prompt to edit the backdrop or the elements that are in the thumbnail. Adding in a face swap is like icing on the cake because that's a completely new person on that image at that point. But the end goal here, guys, using pixels, you're able to pull the best of the best thumbnails on YouTube that are proven to work and be able to use those for your own thumbnail design and brand. Since pixels was nice enough to sponsor this video, I do have 500 100 credits as well as 44% off annual subscriptions I can give to you. It is only a limited time, so go check it out while it's available. But that's gonna do it here, guys. If you have any questions whatsoever about Pixels, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new around here, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.